How's it going, folks? Mark, Ricky, hey! from Like-Minded Lunatics, I hope you're doing well. We're going to do a Friday night reaction video, and Ricky, I'm excited about this one, because I didn't pick it. You picked it. I picked it. It is a band. One of my algorithms in a, a streaming service suggested this band. I started listening to them. I was like, oh, wow, this is a really good band. I saw who was in it. It blew me away. Uh, it, I think you'll really be surprised. You've never heard of them. They're called Third Secret, right? I, I have not heard of them. And folks, uh, just in full disclosure, I didn't even pull this up. I had Ricky pull it up. I didn't even Google it. He did everything. He other hit his eyes. I hit his eyes other than me uh, setting all the video stuff up. So I did that. But then Ricky opened the tab. He pulled this one up. So I'm excited. Yeah. So they were formed, I think, 2020, 21. The record came out in 22. They don't even really have a music video, so this is a live performance of them at a museum. Uh, but it's really good, high quality. Awesome, be good. And you even you brought the beers tonight, and I brought the beer. It is called Light Bright. It's a it's a seasonal session IPA from a great brewery, five one two. Yep. Awesome. Well, I'm excited about this one, too. Yeah. So, folks, get yourself something. Ricky and I are going to pop the top on these. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for pulling all this Salut. stuff. Salut. Cheers, Happy everybody. Friday. Mm. Ah, Lovely. Beer. All right, third secret. I, third secret. I choose me. Here, Here we go. Goes. Here it goes. It's at Seattle. Kim Thyle. It's Kim Thyle. Uh, Im okay. Im immediately it's Kim Thyle. Is that Matt Cameron? It's Matt Cameron in the back. Okay. Soundgarden for folks that don't know. Kim Thyle, Matt Cameron. I think, I think Matt plays for Pearl Jam right now. I think he's their official drummer. Okay. All right. But he was in Soundgarden for a while. I think it's come on my Spotify suggested thing. I try, try to look at the bass player. Oh, oh, from Nirvana! Oh my gosh, it's the Seattle Super Group! Oh my god. Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, Nirvana. <laughs> and who are their singers? Their singers are, uh, and I have them here, Joyce, uh, Jillian, pardon me, and Jennifer Johnson. They're from a band called Giants in the Trees which is a band that Chris kind of started. And it's this weird Seattle folky rock type of thing. And it's it's great. I heard this. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a Seattle super group. Oh, that's awesome. I knew it would blow your mind. I know. Kim, and Chris, I Matt. Ah! I know. Okay, so there was a song on the Crow soundtrack, Falling Down, I think. Is she the lead singer from that one? Maybe. I'm going to have to look that up. I can't remember. God, I can't remember the name of that song now. Crap. I should, oh, all right, let's keep going. to go. That ZZ Top style <laughs> oh, beard? Seattle's ZZ Top. There's something so distinctive about Kim Thiles playing. And even... You know, the, the moment I hear that riff, it's like, oh, that's oh, Kim Thiles. Oh, yeah. And even, like, Matt on the drums plays really loose. I think he uses a loose grip. And it's this glorious mick orgy of Soundgarden and Pearl Jam and Nirvana. And then these female voices. It's so cool and so weird and yeah. so Seattle. So kind of... Post grunge. Yes, it, yeah, it's that's lovely. a great way to put it. Yeah, it reminds me of. Uh, I, I know I've done it on the channel. The Pretty Reckless. They did a song. Um, 
uh, Only Love Can Save Me Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Kim Thiel and Matt Cameron are on that. Yeah. And that was the same way. Like, I, I heard an interview with Thiel, and Thiel was like, Taylor approached us to do this. We thought it was a wonderful tribute to Chris. And so I I created this riff that reminded me of uh, Loud Love, the Soundgarden song. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to look this up after we post this because there is that there's a song on the Crow soundtrack and this sounds just like that singer. I don't know if it is or not. Boy, I'm gonna be so You're happy. You're gonna lose sleep over it. I know, I'm gonna be so happy <laughs> if I'm right on that. Is, is Style playing a, playing a Gibson SG? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Looks like he is playing a Or the SG body style. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of a Malcolm Young-esque. Yeah. It's so funny hearing this, that, like that Soundgarden sound come out of that, and then you watch M Malcolm do it, and Malcolm's sound comes out of that. It's just amazing that different players different, different sounds, sound yeah. so different like from the same instrument. And say Ricky, this makes me feel old as shit. Oh, but it's amazing. It no, it, feel... it's not the music that makes me feel old. It's so I'm watching Kim Thiel and Matt Cameron and Chris Novoselic, and it immediately takes me back to those old videos, you know, Outshined and uh, Black Hole Sun and uh, Heart Shaped Box. And I'm like, oh my god, these guys and the CD covers and the listening to the disc. And oh, yeah, man. <sighs> Cameron's always kind of reminded me of Chad Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not in his playing necessarily, but the fact that he doesn't look like in a oh, rock yeah, band. Oh, yeah, just... Right, he doesn't <laughs> look like the dude in a rock band. Like, if you saw Matt Cameron at Guitar Center, you would think he was their accountant. <laughs> not yeah. not like the lead drummer of the place. Like he yeah. actually takes showers and stuff. He helps <laughs> you with the financing. Yeah. They send you over to him. You want to sign up for our credit card? Well, you talk to Matt. You talk to Matt. <laughs> Same thing with Chad Smith. He looks like a mechanic to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. There's a U joint going out. Well, there's our... Yep. But Kim Thiel... Musician. Oh yeah, his rock band. That's the way. only job for Kim Thiles, musician. And I'm begging you to go on, go on, go on. So glad you picked this one. I actually, I think I even marked that on my notes page. Look, and I didn't, I didn't remember the name of the band. I was like, we should do this now one. Now you know. Oh, Great minds. I know. <sighs> He's just having a good time. Again, oh, only job for Chris is musician, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't he look like the old guy that sits on the porch? <laughs> and he, he's jamming. Yeah, he just kind of sits there and plays. He looks like one of them dudes. He's not going to cause any trouble. He's just going to sit there and... Come here, let me show you a lick. There, that's it. <laughs>
that's a great lick right there. That that bend up that he yeah. just did. Oh my god. Let me see if we can get back it up a little bit on that one, Ricky. So good. They're wearing beanies. They're a cool backdrop. Oh. Oh, it's a great. And I feel like Kim's sound, I was thinking this because I was listening to it driving up here. And I mentioned it to Mark. Hey, man, I was listening to this. He's like, what? I feel like Kim's sound is, what's the word, kind of wiser. It's like the old older sound garden that was kind of an edge. Kind of more mature. Yeah, and it, now it's a little more like refined and it's a little more subtle. It's like he's he's older, so he's like, I don't have to do all this stuff. You know, I just kind of- Yeah, it does sound more patient maybe. Yeah, a little maybe. bit more round than it did before. Yeah. Wow. And the, the album, there's a lot of kind of folky, acoustic-y stuff that's really cool and weird. And uh, the bass is great. Chris's bass is yeah. just, it's a great record. You should check it out. Uh, Third Secret. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause our, our recording right here, Ricky, and I'm going to look up that Crow soundtrack because I'm convinced that if, if that woman did not sing on the Crow, she sounds like someone who did. So we'll pause right here <laughs> and we're back. And I was wrong. God damn it. I was wrong. So what I was thinking of was Medicine by Time Baby 3. Lead singer of that was Annette uh, Zincasis. She was one of the bangles. But, I mean, listen to this song, Ricky, and just tell me, Ed, th those si those lead singers sound similar. Nothing take you away. A little bit. Yeah, it's that delicate, kind of high, kind of airy sound. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Oh, but very much has the same. Well, yeah. Third Secret was awesome, man. I'm so glad yeah. you showed that to me. Thank you so much. Check them out. Uh, folks, let us know what you think. Check out our Facebook page. Check out all the stuff. I mean, all the stuff. We've got stuff all over the place. Ricky. TV show! We got a TV show! This might be on the TV show. I don't even know. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> all right. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. Take care of yourselves. And Ricky and I, we'll see you soon.